Peptic ulcer disease is a common condition characterized by erosions in the gastrointestinal tract, primarily affecting the stomach and duodenum. There are many potential causes of peptic ulcer disease. The two most common causes are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug use and H. pylori infection. Other common causes of peptic ulcer disease are stress due to severe illness or burns, the use of chemotherapy or radiation, or certain cancers. NSAIDs can cause ulcers by blocking COX enzymes that are crucial for producing protective prostaglandins in the gastrointestinal mucosa. H. pylori is a gram-negative bacteria that leads to inflammation in the mucosa of the GI tract and ultimately causes erosions and ulcerations. H. pylori also disrupts the release of bicarbonate, causing increased acidity and cellular changes in the GI tract that increase the risk for cancer. Risk factors for peptic ulcer disease include low socioeconomic status, smoking, alcohol use, and obesity, with a higher incidence in men. Signs and symptoms of peptic ulcer disease are determined by the location of the ulcer. Clients with a gastric ulcer generally experience epigastric pain soon after consuming a meal, whereas an ulcer located in the duodenum typically causes pain two to three hours after eating a meal. Duodenal ulcers can also cause pain that awakens the client at night. In addition to abdominal pain, clients with peptic ulcer disease may experience bloating or feelings of fullness in the abdomen, nausea, and vomiting. Complications of peptic ulcer disease, such as a perforated or bleeding ulcer, are suspected in clients with blood in their stool or emesis, decreased red blood cell counts, and unintended weight loss. Peptic ulcer disease is diagnosed with esophagogal gastroduendoscopy for direct visualization of ulcers and biopsy for H. pylori infection. Other tests may include barium swallows or CT scans, alongside blood, stool, and urea breath tests to assess for anemia and H. pylori infection. Medication therapy primarily involves the use of proton pump inhibitors or H2 receptor antagonists to reduce acid production. In cases of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug-induced ulcers, treatment includes discontinuing or decreasing the dose of the offending medications. For H. pylori infection, antibiotics are prescribed to eradicate the bacteria. Lifestyle changes are also encouraged, such as smoking cessation and avoiding irritants like alcohol and caffeine. Surgical options are considered for clients who are unresponsive to medications or develop complications, including procedures like vagotomy or partial gastrectomy. Nursing care focuses on managing pain, promoting nutritional health, and monitoring for complications. Nurses teach clients about anti-ulcer medications and avoiding aspirin and other NSAIDs. They also teach about dietary changes to reduce symptoms, such as avoiding acidic, spicy, or oily foods, caffeinated beverages, and decaffeinated coffee, because these items can increase the production of stomach acid. Nurses assess the client's nutritional status, because weight loss may occur if eating causes increased pain, or weight gain may occur if eating reduces ulcer pain. Nurses also monitor for potential complications of perforated or bleeding ulcers by assessing vital signs and for the presence of blood in emesis or stool and watching for reduced levels of red blood cells, hemoglobin, or hematocrit. The overarching goals in managing peptic ulcer disease are to alleviate symptoms, promote ulcer healing, and prevent complications. Evaluation of interventions is continuous, aiming to adapt care plans to achieve the best possible outcomes for clients.